things we take long for granted. 30 million people are without access to clean drinking water in the, in the United States. And it's like, well, I know I got water. What do you mean? Who, who, who is that? It's not me. People who are located in rural areas who primarily rely on private well water and what happens when that well water runs dry. In cities where you have predominantly black or residents. You have pipelines which are aging, are leaching lead into the water before it, it arrives to your home. We do have a bit of an increase in uh, copper, which be a little alarming. The mission of hydronomy is to eradicate water scarcity and water insecurity. Units are capable of um, serving single-family households, so it allows families to generate and source their water on site at their homes with an off-grid um, technology device. We utilize a solar-powered system that will capture moisture in the air and convert it into clean drinking water, which can be used for bathing, cleaning, and drinking. We've been facilitating the capturing and moisture and filtering of water with ingredients. Now we're ready to create one hydronomy unit here in New Labs. We're doing like sample testing on what the exterior shell will look like, what type of material is best, what is the uh, artistic or aesthetic features that we want to apply. Right now, we're just going to go through with milling or manufacturing. Should I give it like a strong man's turn on it? I test everything. Okay. Man, woman, child. All right, I'll do a grown man's pull on it then. <laughs> Next. Oh, yeah. Okay. Otherwise, you lose it. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. All right, so we're going to load this tool, right? very first introduction around water insecurity or water scarcity was a Chicago Tribune article that came out about you know water quality in Chicago pipes. I remember uh, my parents stating like hey we're not drinking this water anymore we're gonna start drinking distilled water and that was the beginning of what's the difference of drinking the tap water and now we're buying bottles I primarily design blueprints of large water related infrastructures such as levees or flood walls. But I also design stormwater management plans. So how do we mitigate as well as collect stormwater? How are we handling and introducing that water so it's not overwhelming our sewer system? Being a woman, and not just a woman, but a black woman that is working in STEM, it is incredibly difficult because, one, I'm prejudged about, do I know what I'm talking about? Do I have the competency level? Do I have even the access to the networks that I need to support me? I'm the founder of Hydronomy, one of the founder fellowship cohort members. I try not to hold on to it, but there are very vivid moments in my career that I was like, there's no other reason why this is happening. It's because I'm a black woman. I don't fold to it. You should value me and my perspective because it, it adds to the texture of how 
we consider water, how I've lived through water, and how my community lives through water. Within five years, I hope that hydronomy is deployed first and foremost in cities that are challenged and stricken with the water crisis, so where the, the large population is black and brown people. Lefty Lucy. Okay. It symbolizes like a river, because our air and our water flows in curvature. And so this is the base, and then we'll puncture holes in to allow air to be ventilation to be carried and captured that will eventually be turned into water. Because um, we ultimately want to get to um, make sure we have a marbleized texture aesthetic on the surface. Can't just give you a, a cardboard box and be like, oh, it makes water. We want people to feel proud of how they are, you know, sourcing and capturing and purifying their water. Everyone deserves water. And